All set. And away they go from the 1200 metre marker. Maiden's Prayer was slow out two lengths when the starter said go. Very untidy beginning at the 1200, but the favourite Electric Surge came out boxing. Electric Surge with the current running through her by two. Maiden's Prayer looking to get up a little bit closer. Towards the inside, Mighty Sandstorm. Bella Ballerina's quick down the middle. Della Cheetah's a few lengths off them. Amber Forever towards the outside. Then comes Euro Var. This point in time. Nocha Dungaki races about four lengths off. Winter Sun tries to get closer. Cockney Pride, Code Black. Coming to the final 500. Bella Ballerina down the centre. Maiden's Prayer to the inside. Electric Surge. Here comes Maiden's Prayer with a big run coming to the 300 metre marker. And Sean Veal says, let's go and win this. And Maiden's Prayer gets away by two. On the outside, trying to close in is Cockney Pride. Cockney Pride and Maiden's Prayer inside the 200. Cockney Pride on the grandstand side. Maiden's Prayer the inside. Nothing in it. Cockney Pride looking to get up. Maiden's Prayer is running Late, but Cockney Pride from Maiden's Prayer. Electric surge and then came Winter Sun. Very wide apart, but on the extreme outside, the daughter of Karari for the Turby Spiss stable, Cockney Pride is going to bound away inside the last 100 metres and coming to the post, number five, Cockney Pride, a length and a quarter. Maiden's Prayer, every chance was slow out about a length and a half, moved up to challenge and gets beaten into second. The third spot, many lengths back, Electric Surge, and then came number 16, Winter's Sun. Bella Ballerina, Royal Kitty, and Della Cheetah. Cockney Pride's on the right-hand side. Maiden's Prayer to the inside. Blue sleeves and cap. You'll see how wide apart they are. But the centre outside, it belongs to Cockney Pride. Beats an almost 16 lengths first time out. And Cockney Pride, 103 days off the track, comes through to win down the centre of the course. Maiden's Prayer, Electric Surge, and then came 16, Winter Sun. I was just seeing the running of race number one, uh, Juvenile Plate for Phillies, Falls Old Gold Circle on Facebook, Maiden Plate. Over 1,200 metres and a superb performance here from uh, Cockney Pride, uh, the daughter of Karari, for Toby Spies and all the owners uh, involved uh, with this uh, filly. And of course, Craig Zaki doing duty. But uh, I've just been introduced to you, Johannes. I'm told that he's the man in charge uh, this afternoon for Toby Spies. And I must add also, this is a Bloodstock South Africa incentive bonus race, so there will be checks that I'll be handing out, and Zane's got that uh, huge check of 50,000 Rand as well. But firstly, Johannes, yes, well done, my man. Thanks, man. Well, you came down today with a few runners. Did, was this a surprise? Very, very surprised, sir. It was very, very surprised because of, I thought he would win first time out, but he doesn't win. So anyway, it was a baby, so today was well. What happened first time, Johannes? I mean, finish somewhere back in Joburg. Oh, the promise was chainsaw, so you didn't see the chainsaw, but you know how the babies. You will say it's fine, but anyway. I you here today? To, yes, today I'm here, sir. Well, you know, uh, Mr. Spies, Mr. Toby Spies, uh, and his son also, Connie, they're very good with two year olds, huh? Eh? Yeah, they're very good, but uh, this year, just a little bit. Uh, Nothing too strong. Not too strong. Too strong, but the shins kill us. Uh, the shins are kill us very, very bad. So, how, how long have you been involved with the species? How long have you been working for them? I'm 33 years old. 33 years. Yes, sir. From a small boy. From a small boy, sir. Yes, sir. You you know your way around horses. You've been long with them. Yes, sir. Well, give Mr. Toby Spies all our best, my brother. And before you leave us, yes, sir. anything else later on you like? Uh, I've got only three runners. The other one is on second race. Also, I thought uh, I can win the race also because he's also a baby, but uh, I give him a little bit of distance now, so maybe he will be fine. What, what about that was loosen your tie? Loosen your tie. The uh, next one coming up? Yeah, that's what I speak about now because of uh, he's also a baby and has go a little bit further. Now it's 1400, so maybe he'll come up. You'll try? I'll try my best also. Well, nice meeting you, my brother. Thanks. But there's a check there. Let's have a nice picture of taking off the check. 50,000 Rand, Blundstock, South Africa, incentive bonus. And while I got you here, my man, 
it's all for the winning trainer, for the winning owner, for the winning breeder, and for the winning groom as well. So enjoy. I will make sure, sir. Well done, brother. Thanks, man. Nice one, Johannes. Let's get uh, Craig Zaki in. And Craig, uh, well, I'm sure you know Johannes because you've had a lot of uh, winners for the Swiss stable, and he's firmly part of the team. He definitely is. He's, um, you know, he's a true gentleman, and I must say, you don't get a lot of guys who, who know how to work and deal with horses. And I've worked uh, with Johannes in Cape on this past last season, and I see him in Joburg, and I must say, he's got great hands on us, and his judgment is brilliant. So. It's always nice uh, for people like him who, who's built a nice uh, background story with Spies, who's been with him for so long, and they just seem to make it work year in and year out. So he's a lovely gentleman, and I must say, like Mr. Spies, he's, he's just incredible with his two year olds. I, I just want to add on to what you said because there's a lot of unsung heroes. I know you guys try mm. as much to go and do work in the mornings, but you get to meet these unsung heroes, guys that ride work guys that take care of all the other grooms, the chiefs, the indunas, as you guys call them, and there's some talented guys out there. Definitely is these, um, they probably deserve most of the credit, you know. They, they're the backbone of every team, and they never really get a mention, but they play such a big part, and they work really hard, and there's the grooms and boys in the stables who are looking and caring for the horses every day of their lives that deserve most credit. Fantastic, well put. Now, coming back to this horse, <laughs> when you came into the number one box here, you, you had eyes wide open. You couldn't believe it. Yeah, Steve, she actually gave me a really, really good feel, you know. Um, I'll be honest, I got in, I spoke to Mr. Spies when I was weighing out, and he says, look, Craig, we expected her to win first mod, and we don't know what happened. If she brings her homework, I'll win. I'll win at Big Odds today. I'm like, well, from your mouth to God's ears, and look what happened. I must say, uh, something obviously when I was first run, she obviously never raised the gallop, but she really, really gave me a very nice feel, and she's going to go on blissfully. Okay, you got one on the board. Do you like anything else later on today, Craig? Yes, this uh, Cosmic Cutter, uh, he's not the soundest, but his work's been really good. I'm expecting him to be in the first three, and I picked up a very nice horse of Mr. Crawford's Gigi's Dynasty, and I'm hoping I can provide the goods there, uh, uh, getting the board after... Anton's uh, unable to make it today. I just came to know the other day, and for the guys that don't know, Craig, uh, is it 100% that you're now based in KZN? Yes, it is. Um, it's for the season, but things are really turning out good, and I'll take it. I'll take whether I want to just rather relocate here, and I'll just take it out. Things go so far, they're very good, and I'm really enjoying KZN, and I'm settled in quite nicely now, so yeah. I have no doubt if you make that move, uh, you'll be a huge success in this province. But thanks for your input and uh, a nice ride on this horse. A good way to get the meeting off. So well done thus far. Thanks, Dees. Also to Johannes, like I said, to the grooms, to Mrs. Fiss and his whole team, well done to Fancy, uh, to Mr. Pawson, Mr. McNabb, Mr. Englezakis, Jolly, all the winning connections, well done. And of course, to Moritz Fintin and Volker Bozjev. Thank you. Good one. Thanks. Lovely. Craig Zaki uh, starting off the meeting here and Cockney Pride. I kept an eye on this filly because uh, I was watching the betting, not on what I saw first time out. Uh, whilst I was doing the parade ring preview, she was at 8 Rand for a win, but she went right out to 25 Rand. And uh, if you included the uh, trifectas and quartets and you got a piece of the action, you're yeah, well played. But uh, Toby Spies is coming to town and he's back the first race at a big price. 5, 10, 8 and 16. Uh, that is the provisional result race number one up next it is the start of the place accumulator which will be race number two and the time to jot down there 1300 hours one o'clock